Good morning. I normally do yoga in the mornings, but I'm going to a class this evening. So instead I'm gonna like flip flop and do my walk this morning on my favorite trail. So let's go. having mint tea in the mornings. Don't really know why. And then I think the world is ending because I'm having a savory food for breakfast. But actually, if I'm being honest, I've been eating a lot more savory food for breakfast. I have some avocado and tomato toast. I got these tomatoes at the farmer's market and they need to be eaten up. They're starting to go bad. It's on this awesome gluten-free bread. I first found it when I was um, on a trip in LA. It's by a company called Vegan Mario and it's a quinoa and buckwheat sourdough. So it's gluten-free, but it tastes so sour. As Mm, they're so good. So what's new with you guys? I feel like I have a lot to talk to you guys about, but I also don't know what I wanna talk about because if I talk about everything, this video will be like 30 minutes long. I've been feeling like super introspective and analytical lately and just thinking about life. But I think I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then talk to you guys afterwards. I just uh, filmed some video intros, so if my face looks more makeup up a did it. Ugh, the sun is like, going in and out so i'm sorry if it's like crazy uh during this little chit chat but actually okay yes the microphone is on like i said i just feel like i have so many things i could talk about but i've actually kind of been thinking more about social media recently i don't know if you guys saw my quarter life crisis where i kind of talked to you about how i was kind of fed up with instagram and just social media in general um I'm not, I don't, I guess I'm still not in a quarter life crisis, but I feel like I still kind of, I don't feel apathetic, but I just feel kind of tired of certain aspects of it. Um, I actually wanted to film a video titled why I hate social media and do a list of like my pet peeves. Um, but I feel like it would not be well received and people would just think I was a bitch to be honest, even though it's like not that serious. I guess I'm just starting to realize that social media is not everything. Um, and I know that that's like pretty common knowledge. So I don't get obsessive about the numbers, but sometimes I feel like I use social media as an excuse to not do things in my normal everyday life. I think I've admitted it on here before that I'm a little bit of a workaholic and yeah. I've always enjoyed spending time alone and some of that has to do with the fact that I'm an introvert and it also has to deal with the fact that just throughout my life I've had different experiences with like platonic relationships and romantic relationships that have ended badly or people have like told me that they don't like me or I've been bullied and things like that. So I've always just, when I get the sense that I'm annoying people, I typically just retreat and do my own thing. And like when I started social media, this was kind of my thing that I would do when I just felt like I didn't quote unquote have any friends. Um, and then I became really passionate about it and I made friends online and I found all these fun activities to do online and my account has grown and it's now my full-time job. And I think that that's awesome. But I think I'm at the point now where I've realized that internet friends aren't everything and like hiding from your problems isn't necessarily the answer even the even though it's awesome that i can like dedicate so much time to work and it's like appears that i get so much done i feel like at the end of the day if i'm being honest like 
do I really have a social life outside of YouTube? So since I've moved to the Portland area, I would say yes, because I've been actively trying to work on it, which for me means like actively trying to work less. Because if I'm being honest before, I would just work seven days a week because I was like, oh, I don't have friends or it's like, I don't have people who I wanna hang out with, um, I'll just work. Or on a more deeper level, it'd be like, oh, I don't want to like risk having to be vulnerable with other people and like sharing about myself, like especially in romantic relationships and stuff. And so I would just work instead. And I've totally been using it as a cover up. And I feel like this just got really deep and it's kind of like you guys are my therapist, but you know, I don't know. Like this has just been on my mind because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and also talking to other content creators about how social media isn't everything and we have to learn when to take a step back. And it's not like I'm about to quit YouTube or Instagram or anything. I think I'm just personally trying to find balance and trying to find what works for me. But I would be curious um, about what you guys have to say too, because I think if you're not a social media influencer, I hate that word. Do you like feel the same way? I guess if there are any other introverts out there, do you use social media or like online relationships and online communication as an excuse to not live your real life and like push yourself to interact with people face to face and in person. And I do see how social media can be an awesome tool, especially if you live in an area where no one really has the same interests in you. Um, but I do think there can be a point when you become so involved and obsessed with social media that it like takes over your life. And at the end of the day, an online relationship still can't compare to an in-person relationship or re those really close friendships that you have with friends where you feel like you can confide in them and tell them anything and ask them for advice, you know? I guess those are just my thoughts on it, but yeah, I have been challenging myself to try to go out and do more things. Obviously hang out with Jasmine and Chris, my roommates, because they're awesome and they're like some of my closest friends. But I just, even in real life, I've been trying to like text my friends who don't live here more and I joined a yoga studio and I've been trying to talk with people there. Um, this honestly really feels like I'm talking to a therapist right now, but I guess I just kind of wanted to uh, share my journey and experience. And it's not like I hate social media, but I think it's, good for me during this time in my life to like take a step back and realize that it's work, but it's also something I'm passionate about. But I also need to find a balance between online stuff and real life stuff. Honestly, just working for yourself in general can be isolating, especially if you work from home like I do, because I don't go to an office and I don't interact with people like that on an everyday basis. I mostly interact with people online. Okay, I think, I think that is enough rambles for now. For lunch, I'm eating some leftovers. It's like a mixture of lentils, kale, beets, sweet potatoes. It don't look that cute, but you know, it tastes good. And it's actually going to be coming to you guys in a future meal prep video, so I can't link the recipe now, but you shall get it eventually. Have you guys ever eaten so many beets that your pee and poop turns red? First time it happened to me, I thought I was dying. So yeah, heads up. If you're going to eat a lot of beets, uh, beware. Finished enough work for now, so now I'm gonna take a break and go to my yoga class. I need like five hands, I think. Sometimes I focus it with my nose. Are you doing what I drink in a day? Yeah. Wait, it's, I wait, think it's wait, good. it's off. Oh, okay. I just got out of yoga. It was very nice and relaxing. And now I'm going to head home. I do have some leftovers, but I don't know if I really want them. So I might roast some veggies or something for dinner. I guess you'll see. Here is the progress of dinner. I made a salad. The base is some massage kale that I massaged in lemon juice and some of this tahini. And then I added in some chopped parsley, uh, some thinly sliced red onion, some Calvestrano olives, and some diced roasted red peppers. And then I am currently roasting some sweet potatoes in the oven, and I'm also going to air fry this tofu. It is the braised tofu from Hodo. Um, I really like it. it. Kind of tastes like pho. So here is the final bowl with the air fried tofu and some of the roasted Japanese sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna add some extra tahini on top. There's no fun. 
and dig in. I'm having a little dessert um, of some vegan yogurt. I mean, I guess it's kind of like ice cream. I don't know. And then I topped it with some um, granola. I got this one on Thrive Market. And then I think I might have a square of this, uh, or two, or three, who knows. Some of this wild blueberry dark chocolate that my friend gave me. And that, friends, is everything that I'm going to eat slash do today. I'm about to turn off my computer and go to bed. I've been going to bed late these past few days and I need to get my beauty rest. Um, so that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. There will be more vlogs coming your way soon. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Whatever time of day it is for you, I will see you in the next video.